this is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The part-time team who knocked Newcastle out of the cup live, work and play in Bedford. Outside right, Dave Lovell is a draftsman, but he only wants to draw in office hours. Bobby Anderson's in the engineering trade when he's not drilling holes through the opposition on the field. At the top of his trade as a tiler, Dave Sturrock hopes to get to the top as a footballer. Goalie Jack Wallace is the only professional in the team. When they heard they'd drawn Carlisle for the fourth round, they were naturally pretty confident. Deserved to be after just beating Newcastle. The team manager's leprechaun had done a good job getting them over that hurdle. Surely Carlisle didn't possess a magic charm to put a spell on the Eagles' flight to Wembley. Bedford kick off, the giant killers of the Southern League against 4th Division Carlisle and 63,000 townsfolk rooting for them. You can't blame Bedford fans for feeling pretty cheesed off when Carlisle opened the scoring just before the interval. Or when they followed it up with another in the second half. and completed the deal with a third goal from a penalty soon afterward. But don't blame the leprechaun, he was doing his best. Perhaps you've used